Come with me. Come with me to discover the secrets of how thoughts become things, and we will manifest like never before. Come with me, and we'll discover a secret so powerful that will take you far beyond your dreams. Come with me on an unforgettable journey. Come with me. It's already yours. Get ready for this adventure. And I'm thankful for today that you found us. So get ready. The time is now. I'm Zelda Kelly. Welcome to Secrets Laws of Attraction. Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome back to Secrets Laws of Attraction. My name is Zelda Kelly, and you can hear already, everybody is ready to meow and play. It's that time. They're running through the room, and that's okay. You know how it is. I mean, I'm recording this live. So without further ado, I would also like to thank Psychic Secrets, PsychicSecrets.com, for giving us this platform in order for me to bring you this very important information. Now, why is it important? Well, it's important not only for me, but for you and for us so you can continue to manifest and raise your vibration in order to receive what it is that you are manifesting. That's what it's all about. I know that you're really going to like this episode. It's a little deep. It's a little on the quantum physics and universal energy side, but I think that you're going to get it. And I know that it's something that you really need to hear. So without further ado, and with your permission, and with the kitties sitting all around me playing and having a great time, <laughs> I would like to talk to you today about universal energy. Now, this is important because we are energy beings, and we are born with a pulse, and we're born with a pulse into the universe, and that thrives on a pulse. So the universe thrives on a pulse. We thrive. We, can't, we cannot live without a pulse, and neither can the universe. Our planet Earth has a pulse, and our Earth has a frequency, and both can be measured. And that translates into the Earth having an aura. The human brain has frequency and not only mimics the pulse or the alpha waves of the earth, but it is identical. And that's right. It is identical frequency as the earth. We have that identical frequency to the earth. That is just amazing. We pulse. We vibrate to that frequency of the earth. Much like a radio frequency, we can dial into frequency that we desire to attain that which we are attracting. Now, I also want you to think about that. Think about that miracle of even the radio, of a telephone. If you don't believe that you can dial into anyone's frequency, I want you to pick up your cell phone and I want you to just look at the many numbers that you have to dial. You are actually dialing in on someone's frequency to speak with them. That's a miracle in itself. We have lived over the last few years, and it's just really been in the last few years, that we have had cell phones. And not only do we have cell phones, but we have evolved where we can speak on these cell phones, have a picture, have a camera, be able to speak with someone halfway around the world when before it was just really someone's dream and desire. And that came about. Imagine. Imagine. I am blessed to be able to live through this time where I have seen technology evolve. And I bet you have too. The Earth's frequency 
is 8 hertz. That's how it vibrates. Why don't we hear these frequencies emitted by the Earth and by the universe? The Earth has a resonator deep in its core that regulates sound. Now, what is a resonator? Well, a resonator actually is like a car muffler. So it channels that sound and muffles that sound so you don't hear it when you're driving. Unless you have a muscle car, of course. <laughs> when we receive these frequencies, it is almost like a tuning fork that would assist in tuning an instrument. We don't see it. We don't really feel it unless the frequency is turned up extremely high, and that is an, another episode that we possibly could talk about that then. But these frequencies are received by our brain, which also emits a frequency that not only connects to the earth, but to the universe as well. So we are all connected in this frequency, in this vibration, and in, by this pulse. We are energy beings, all right, and we were born to thrive and thrive in an electric, magnetic, energetic environment. So now think of this. I want you to think of this. The brain's frequency which controls our anxiety, stress, performance, our creative, creativity, all of emotions, good or bad, also controls our immune system. That's right, our immune system. This somehow tunes into the frequency of the planet and the pulse of the earth and became the pulse of all life and existence in itself. So when we get on a bad frequency, it causes disease. And as Bob Proctor says, if you break down that word disease, it is dis ease. You are no longer at ease. You are uneasy. It is dis-ease, is disease. So, the important thing now is that we have to understand that God created this universe with all of this being His divine plan. And if we can only tap into this frequency that was made for us to tap into... If we could only see what he has made for us to use for our manifestations by using the law of vibration, we can live a very fulfilling life. Vibration is how frequency is measured. Vibration is the most important laws of the universe. For by resonating with the frequency of the universe and our planet, we can achieve anything and everything our hearts desire. Did you get this? Did you get it? We can achieve anything and everything that our hearts desire if we resonate with the frequency of the universe and our planet. We can utilize the rhythm of the universe to our advantage and for any pleasure, health, and well-being. Albert Einstein says that everything in life is vibration, and this is a truth that is not disputed. The universe is alive and it is conscious. The universe has a divine bi biology and the same divine biology that is all the same as all living systems and all creatures here on this planet and others. Yes, and other planets. We are surrounded by this divine frequency which causes a divine, spiritual, perfect DNA. Nikola Tesla says, if you wish to understand the universe, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. This energy, frequency, and vibration is free. You, we don't pay for it. It's ours for the asking. It's right here, right now. You're listening to this episode through a frequency, through a vibration, 
I'm coming to you, you've dialed in, you've clicked on this, and now you're listening to it. It is energy. It is our gift from above. By harnessing it, it's knowledge, and we can live a life beyond our expectations and think of a life of many, many opportunities. Now, here's something interesting that I think it's very important for all of us to know. The law of thermodynamics is the law of energy. Now, the first law of energy is how energy cannot be created or destroyed. That's proven. It cannot be, uh, energy cannot be created or destroyed, generated, created, or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form. Pardon me, I've got allergies. Don't you? <laughs> I had to just say that because I know that you hear a difference in my voice, and that's okay. That's what allergy medicine is for. But wow, it is really something this year, isn't it? Okay, so let's go back and review this just a second. So energy cannot be generated or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. Energy is always conserved. There's always a conservation of energy. Now there is a second law of thermodynamics. Why can't I say that word? Thermodynamics. There's a second law of that. It is more energy is wasted than used as a result of transforming, processing, or transferring. Basically, you waste a lot of energy trying to, to use a lot of energy. You have to just let it flow naturally. We have to harness energy. That's, that's what it's all about. But the total amount of energy and matter in the universe remains constant. So there's no deviation in energy. We're not going to run out. This is something we do not have to worry about or be concerned. We don't have to worry about this energy ever going away, being depleted, or being cut off. It only changes from one form to another. So it's, it's wonderful as things happen, your energy changes. That is in life, in birth, and in death. Now that we understand and that we have a deep connection to our universe, to our creator, and to the planet, it is time for us to understand that the whole entire system was created for our existence. This is how we exist. You see, we are energy beings. We are energy slowed in motion. We are energy and the vibrations are raised that becomes matter. Everything around us vibrates. Everything. There's not one thing that does not. The chair you're sitting in, the table that you eat on, the plate that you had lunch on today, the lamp, the car, the home, everything is energy. And I've, I've got to say this. Haven't you ever noticed that an abandoned home falls apart a lot quicker than one that's lived in? Now, obviously, we need to do maintenance on homes and that sort of thing. But an abandoned home, a home that is left to the elements, will quickly, quickly fall apart. Why is that? Because we are energy beings. And when we are in our homes, our home, our house, actually draws that energy from us and we draw the energy from our home. It's funny because every home I've ever lived in, one of the first things that I've ever done is that I've walked in and I say, I'm so grateful and thankful to have this home as protection, as, pr as shelter, as a place to enjoy life, I make you my promise that I will take care of you to the best of my ability if you take care of me and my family to the best of yours. 
And I can tell you my maintenance issues over the many, many years that I've had homes are very, very few and far between. Why? Because you raise the vibration of your home. I want you to know that if you would ever walk in my home at any time, you could almost feel my home humming. There's a certain vibration that goes along with it. Why? Because I like to raise the vibrations. I like to raise the frequency and do happy and healthy times. We don't have anger in my home. We don't get upset in my home. In my home, you'll hear laughter and a lot of meowing. <laughs> and, and, and we enjoy helping others. We look forward to the day. And we look forward to the night where our bodies can regenerate the energy. Our batteries can regenerate itself. And then the next day we are grateful for another day. So I want you to think about this. We understand this, that this entire system was created for our existence, for our education, for our recreation, but especially for our living a very, very purposeful and fulfilling life. In all this existence, this energy has a source. The source with a creative power, the creative vibration and creative, creative resonance. This source is who we turn to. This is your crash course in quantum mechanics, my dears. Because in the first book of the Bible, which is Genesis, it tells clearly of the critical sequence of creation. Now, if you go to the Bible and you look into the book of Genesis, the first whole chapter of Genesis is, is the critical creation. Critical creation. One by one, step by step of the universe and of the, of the earth. And of course you get into the creation of man. But that universe is what's pulsing and gives us life. So the universe is so full of energy, frequency, and vibration. And if the universe consistently resonates a thermodynamic law that never can be destroyed, but only generated, tell me, who's keeping the lights turned on in the universe? Who's paying the light bill? <laughs> you just heard that. Meow, I know. So who's paying the light bill? Energy is free. Harnessing energy is free. Light, love, resonance of vibration, frequency, and energy are free for us to live. It's how we live. So who's paying the light bill? You guessed it. I want to thank you so much for giving me this time today to come to you. I just thought this was really important and I wanted you to know that you are more connected than really what you think you are. You're connected to the universe. You're connected. You are an energy light being with perfect spiritual DNA that can never be destroyed. I want you to remember this when you're manifesting and when you're affirming and when you're raising your vibrations. You are connected and all you have to do is get connected because as of Albert Einstein says, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality that you want and you cannot help 
but get that reality. It cannot be any other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. So I want you to remember that when you're thinking, oh, this doesn't work. Oh, I, I can't do anything. Oh, well, I've tried and this has failed. I want you to know that every word, every emotion, every thought that comes out of you and from you, you are manifesting and connecting to the pulse, the vibration, and the frequency of the earth. And it's up to you if it's negative or if it's positive. Because then we have our friend who is Henry Ford who says, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. So the next time you start thinking, you know, sometimes our thoughts get us in trouble because thoughts become things. So sometime the next time when you're thinking and you're feeling negative because nothing good ever happens to you, I want you to turn that around, which you can immediately, and say, everything always works out for me. And I tell you, my darling, when you believe that and say it, and you live that, you will manifest life beyond your wildest dreams. Thank you so much, my darlings, for being here with us. I love you. You know that. I wish you well. I wish you a lot of blessings. And I especially wish you a brave heart. And in the meantime, I'll be back again very soon with another episode of Secrets Mystery Manor. Happy manifesting! Bye for now.